I don't even know how to start this video. <laughs> just today has been not a hard day, but like just a day full of thought. I mean, I assume if you clicked on this video, you guys know like it, it's been a, it's been some time now since, you know, the news broke, but um, Kira Toriyama has passed away. It's just it's just so unexpected. Um, I don't think anyone was like it was even on anyone's like mind or in the realm of possibilities that Toriyama could pass away anytime soon. I mean, obviously you don't think about someone dying until, you know, it actually happens. Or I saw somewhere that um he had been ill for like a year, but you know, that news wasn't public. So none of us could have really known, but it's just, it just feels like unreal that such a legend has passed away. Um, it's just, just feels absolutely unreal. When I saw it, I was praying that it was fake i was searching around but no it's real um i've had some time to think about it and like you know, gather my feelings and thoughts dragon ball for me has probably been the single most thing that has shaped me into the person that i am today without dragon ball i can almost say with 100 percent certainty you guys wouldn't even be seeing me right now uh, my name is fucking Kameha, after the most iconic attack in all anime, the Kamehameha, created by Akira Toriyama. That just goes to show you how much of an influence he's had on me. I probably wouldn't watch anime if it wasn't for Dragon Ball. Um, it was the first anime I've ever seen, you know, anime. And I didn't even know it was anime when I was just so young. I just thought it was like, you know, another cartoon. I instantly fell in love with it. Um, nothing nothing ever in my childhood like just I, I i didn't like anything as much as i did with dragon ball i had always said growing up that dragon ball was my favorite anime or no no not my favorite anime, my favorite show just in general and <laughs> it's crazy because i had always been one of those people that are like you know dragon ball is not really anime like it's, it's it's too cool to be anime like i'm never gonna watch you're never gonna catch me watching naruto one piece you know my hero academia none of that other anime bullshit but it's because of dragon ball that i even gave those uh those i naruto was the first anime i watched after dragon ball was because of dragon ball that I even gave it a chance in the first place and here i am today I, you know i've got one piece naruto or naruto bleach attack on titan here um and it's Truly because of Dragon Ball that I even fell in love with all these amazing series in the first place. Toriyama really opened my eyes to like <laughs> the world of anime. Like he he brought me into the world of anime just through Dragon Ball. Um obviously I think I feel I think it's so funny how that has worked in my life because, you know, Dragon Ball inspired all of these series like without dragon ball these don't exist toriyama inspired oda inspired kishimoto inspired kubo like he inspired all of these other anime that followed so it's like it just it feels so crazy to me that dragon ball is what basically created these series and dragon ball is what got me into these series so it's just it's just legendary like I don't know where I would be in my life. I don't know what my hobby is like. My hobby, my favorite thing to do is to watch anime and, 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 you know, see like these amazing stories that these manga could come up with. And it's all because of Toriyama. He essentially built, <laughs> built me. Like, I don't know how else to put it. Um, I remember so long ago on the sitting on the, it's this old ass computer that we had watching dragon ball z amvs i just remember being like blown away i was like the quality was fucking shit but like me as a little kid like watching that i was like holy fuck like this this show is just amazing like just these big ass dudes just beating the shit out of each other but i mean that was me as a kid like I, that's i didn't have like an understanding of how deep dragon ball could really be until i got older and that's just how i that's why i love the series so much like you know looking at it you know from the outside it looks you know simple yelling screaming fighting but it's like it is simple yes but it's like it's just so much deeper than that and the characters and story that toriyama created will 
be with me for the rest of my life. Like I will never ever forget the like the impact that his story had on me and so many others around the world. Like you you go up to a random person on the street, I'm sure they've heard of something. I'm sure they've heard of Dragon Ball, whether whether that is Dragon Ball itself or they've heard of a Super Saiyan or a Kamehameha or a Goku. Like what like what other anime truly is doing that other than Pokemon? Like without Dragon Ball, just I don't know. Like I just Toriyama changed the anime and manga industry like forever. Like he is truly the goat of this shit, and I will remember him forever and so so will everyone else like he's just he's legendary he's cemented himself in history like i i truly hope that um like toyotaro and ioku they all continue his legacy and give us more dragon ball content because i'm i mean we have daima coming and it seemed like toriyama was so proud of it and He's, he won't even be here to see the release of it. Um, it obviously seemed like he was very hopeful and passionate about the future of Dragon Ball. So I hope, like I said, Toyotaro and Ioku can like continue his legacy and give us more Dragon Ball content. I, at least for me, I know it's going to be extremely weird and 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 strange to have Dragon Ball content coming, knowing. Toriyama wasn't there for it. Um, I think that'll be the biggest like, thing that we as a Dragon Ball community will have to overcome. But he entrusted Toyotaro to take over, you know, the Dragon Ball Super manga. He entrusted the story to him, I'm sure. I'm sure he won't, like, I'm sure they'll fulfill Toriyama's wishes. And if he wishes, if somehow or some way he said that he doesn't want the series to continue without him then that's all right that's you know that's that's his wish like it's his story he's done enough like we've had 40 years this is the 40th year of dragon ball and um that's just so insane to say like this was going long before i was born but it somehow found a way into my life and i just i'm just extremely grateful because i don't know where i would be without know Toriyama and his legendary story of Dragon Ball um it's just helped me in my life so much and I'm extremely grateful I'm sure I know it's touched so many other people around the world um and truly like rest in peace Toriyama man it's just it just doesn't feel real I mean I think what I'm gonna do is just for for me I'm gonna play through all of Kakarot and like turn it into just like unedited long form like videos just to upload play through Kakarot just to relive the amazing story of Dragon Ball Z um for Toriyama and just just for me just to remind myself of how beautiful a story he created um I don't care if anyone watches I don't care if the videos get views I don't I don't care about any of that it's purely for me and to remember Toriyama and the amazing work that he left behind for us. He, he'll live on forever in all of our memories. Um, you, know, you know, he was truly the go-to this shit. Um, it's, it's just so weird to have him gone. Like, it's just nothing, like, nothing I would have ever imagined. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's not much more I can say. Like, rest in peace, Toriyama. Um, fuck, man, now I got, like, emotional... Uh, fuck. I play this mobile game Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle every single day of my life. It literally has consumed me. And that's all because of him. Uh, but yeah, let me just, let me stop rambling on. It's a tough day for Dragon Ball fans. Tough day for anime fans. Just in general. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I don't know who, who would enjoy this. Uh, I'm not enjoying this. It kind of hurts me. But uh, I just felt like I needed to get on here and talk about it. Since it's just such a big part of who I am. And the reason... I'm doing this YouTube stuff in the first place. So I appreciate every single one of you guys. Um, you know, everyone in the in the comments. Tell me about, you know, your experience with Dragon Ball and how Toriyama has touched you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.